Hamilton. I'm the curator of University Art, and I've been here since June of 2007. Uh, I was hired to um, take this collection of antiquities, which was a gift from Fordham alum, William Walsh, class of 1951, and install it and, you know, sort of create a, create a study collection museum out of his private collection. He was extremely interesting and he's exceedingly important to the university. He was a classics major here at Fordham. Um, that's where he obviously uh, developed his love of antiquities in the ancient world, literature, art, and everything that goes with that. It does serve a really kind of vital purpose. It makes this type of art accessible to people who might feel intimidated going down to the Met, even though that is, you know, the charter is open and open into the public, you know, you walk up those monumental steps and, you know, one can get intimidated, I suppose, but here it's, a, it's all you have to do is show ID to walk on campus. So it, it does serve, I think, a really important, it, it exposes a wider demographic of people to this material, which can erroneously be thought of as, you know, elite, too elite, not accessible. The, the monumental marble head of Hadrian right behind us is, is very important because it is at once a recognizable subject, an imperial, a Roman emperor, but at the same time it has certain stylistic uh, idiosync idiosyncrasies which make it fun to talk about because here you can talk about uh, provincial Roman sculpture and this particular head likely come, came originally from from the Middle East, from the ancient Near East. Um, so that's exciting. It is a special and unique campus resource that in terms of the type of objects we have, uh, particularly our, our Etruscan material, uh, we, fit, we fill a nice little void um, in the material collection of the, the material sort of culture of the Etruscan civilization here in the New York area. We have a lot of really important monumental ceramic ceramic objects which aren't necessarily represented to the same degree at the Met. And to get even close to that type of material, you've got to go as far as Penn, the, the Penn Museum in Philadelphia. So we have some really unusual and exceptional objects. <laughs>